Hello, new viewers. Welcome to episode 17 of Progress and Liberty. Did I get that right? Yes. My last episode was AOC and Kerry GND Climate Task Force. So, this would be episode 17. Now, I was having this thought recently that, uh, or I had this thought, um, that the conversation is dyspeptic. And then right after that, I had this thought that, Piro, you just made that word up. That, what's that even mean, dyspeptic? So I had to look it up. So I looked up dyspeptic, and it is a word. And thank you, subconscious. And it means of or having indigestion or consequent irritability or depression. And that's, that definitely is what's happening to the conversation. So as a result, you know, I got to come up with ideas here, how to compensate. How are we going to ride this out, you guys, while the conversation is dyspeptic? And it's not a permanent answer. It's not a long-term answer or anything, but, it, you know, the answer I came up with for episode 17 is I would do the political compass test for you all. So you could see where I stand and also you could be exposed to the political compass because this has been around for a long time now and uh, you know it's far from perfect. It's better than the left or right thing. It's basically you have a left or right in one axis and a left or right in another axis so it's left or right, up or down and it doesn't really matter the up or down the point is, you're going to end up somewhere on this graph where you have two axes. One basically is economic liberalism, and the other axis is social liberalism. Now, why should those even be separate things? Whatever. Um, it's an arbitrary coordinate system. And, and there's, of course, other alternates. And I have my own, right? I have my own system uh, that I've talked about in the past. Uh, that is just, again, it's a, it's a toy system. You just, you can always create graph paper. My system is uh, spectral ideography and it assigns a color. It's a three dimensional system where I assign colors to each of the three dimensions and therefore, uh, primary colors, you get a, a result color. And maybe I'll make a little app for that and we can take that test too but that doesn't exist yet so the political compass very interesting i suggest everybody interested in disgusting politics find out where you lie on this graph right there's a lot of ways to potentially graph your opinion the traditional left versus right is pretty bullshit and not accurate enough a two-dimensional version is still not accurate enough uh, my three-dimensional version is pretty good, let's face it. But still, you know, there's probably, I don't know, infinite potential dimensions to a person's opinion to graph. Um, and you have to choose a finite number and you have to figure out what the axes are going to be and all that kind of stuff. Well, the political compass people have done that and everybody should take it. It's just a, it's just a toy. It's a fun thing. And uh, I, it tells you more about yourself than you're going to know Um from either thinking you're just liberal or conservative, or if you're like Curas um, or Curas, you uh, might know there's two dimensions, um, and that you're like you're conservative on the social dimension and liberal on the economic dimension, and or whatever. Um, but even so, you're just self-assessing. And you're not combining those with hard questions, right? Some questions tease out more about things, well, things that the political compass doesn't take into account, like which is the more important access to you. Um, I'm socially liberal and uh, non-authoritarian and uh, economically liberal, and yet it doesn't tell you which is the more important access to me. Anyway, I'm not going to answer that either. Let's just go through and take the test. 
um, where I give all the answers. You will just be uh, uh, an observer. And uh, see how that goes. All right. <clears throat> well, let's read this together. Bef please note that this isn't a survey and these aren't questions. They're propositions. To question the logic of individual ones that irritate you is to miss the point. Some propositions are extreme and some are moderate. That's how we can show you whether you lean towards extremism or moderation on the compass. Your response should not be overthought. Some of them are intentionally vague. Their purpose is to trigger reactions in the mind, measuring feelings and prejudices, rather than detailed opinions on policy. Oh, okay, because I do overanalyze this. I've taken this test many times. Um, turns out I'm a left libertarian, usually, uh, or always. Um, okay. If economic globalization is inevitable, it should primarily serve humanity rather than the interests of transnational corporations. Well, yes, totally agree. I'd always support my country whether it was right or wrong. Hmm. Yeah, I, I I agree. It's kind of like if you if you do something wrong, you're still supporting your country to like hire a lawyer and try to get the least punishment or if you apologize you'd still be supporting your country no one chooses his or her country of birth so it's foolish to be proud of it yeah i think that's kind of foolish our race has many superior qualities compared with other races well that's just idiocy. that's crazy because it's, this is subjective Okay, anyway, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Well, I would strongly disagree, except for it could, by chance, be my friend. But in general, I disagree because the enemy of my enemy is just someone likely to be my enemy in a chain of enemies. Military action that defies international law is sometimes justified. No, I don't believe that. There is now a worrying fusion of information and entertainment. Yeah, agree with that. People are ultimately divided more by class than by nationality. Strongly agree with that. Controlling inflation is more important than controlling unemployment. Disagree. Because corporations cannot be trusted to voluntarily protect the environment, they require regulation. Yeah, no shit. From each according to his ability to each according to his need is a fundamentally good idea. Oh, no, that's a mess. The freer the market, the freer the people. Well, that's, that's empirically false. It's a sad reflection on our society that something as basic as drinking water is now bottled, branded consumer product. I disagree. Get over it. Uh, land shouldn't be a commodity to be bought and sold. That's interesting. I, I agree because I believe in the... Um, in uh, What was his name? Henry George. Um, that you shouldn't... You, basically, the land can't move um and it's overseen by your national government therefore you're basically paying a rent um your your so-called uh land tax uh to the government in order to hold the rights over it those rights are not really ownership they're liens that you're allowed to build on it and alter it as long as you do so within uh regulations which can be motivated by all sorts of things the regulations could just be um, you know they could be environmental they could be aesthetic because of neighborhoods or zoning commercial or not all right it is regrettable that many personal fortunes are made by people who simply manipulate Fuck yeah, manipulate money and contribute nothing to their society. Strongly agree with that. Protect 
perfectionism is sometimes necessary in trade. Ooh, protectionism. I mean, I'm basically, as a libertarian, I'm against it. I believe in having borders be as open as is sensible, right? You can check people's warrants and if they have a disease and stuff like this. But protectionism in trade. So it's like tariffs. And sometimes, because it's, it's funny to me, because all things are sometimes necessary. But would I call it protection? You know what? What the fuck? I'm going to agree. I think, you know, you might be Canadian and have to pr want to protect, feel like you have to protect the dairy industry there or whatever. The only social responsibility of a company should be to deliver a profit to its shareholders. Disagree, but that's the law. The rich are too highly taxed. Well, that's empirically false. Those with the ability to pay should have higher standards of medical care disagree but not strongly like depends on what you mean by standards like is a high standard being able to do unproven uh experimental treatments um if so well of course you should have to pay for treatments that aren't even proven right but i don't consider that a higher standard so i'll, I'll just disagree governments should penalize businesses that mislead the public oh fuck yeah lying and advertisements and stuff. It's just so out of hand. It's like people think that free speech means the right to lie. That's not what it means. Lying to people when you know it's a lie is fraud if you're in business and you're doing it for your business. There's no two ways about it. It's just that people are whatever. They're stupid about that. Okay, a genuine free market requires restrictions on the ability of predator multinationals to create monopolies. Fuck, obviously. That's why we have antitrust laws all over the world. Abortion, when the woman's life is not threatened, should always be illegal. It's a, look, it's a medical decision. Individual decision. Libertarian. All authority should be questioned. Totally love that. Uh, absolutely, but I'm a skeptic. Every, everything should be questioned. My mind is spinning too fast. Okay, let's slow down. Not overthink, but slow down. Think quickly. But slow the mind down. Okay. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Disagree or agree? I agree that that's legit. If somebody takes an eye, you can take their eye. But so I guess I agree. I I, I prefer not to do that. I don't personally believe in that. But whatever. Okay. Taxpayers should not be expected to prop up any theaters or museums that cannot survive on a commercial basis. Disagree. Schools should not make classroom attendance compulsory. I, I honestly don't know. I wish there was a neutral on this. Compulsory. You know what? It would be nice if they didn't have to do that. It's just that schools, I'm going to say agree because schools shouldn't do it. Parents should do it. Okay. All people have their right, their rights, but it's better for all of us that different sorts of people should keep to their own kind. Fuck you. Good parents sometimes have to spank their children. I disagree. I believe good parents do sometimes spank their children. But have to now. It's natural for children to keep some secrets from their parents. Well, that's just empirically true. Possessing marijuana for personal use should not be a criminal offense, obviously. The prime function of schooling should be to equip the future generation to find jobs. I actually slightly agree. I believe in the mission to create enough information, post-enlightenment information, but People need to have, they need to be educated for, so we need more um, vocational schools and things like that. People with, ser and, and more adults need to get all of their uh, sort of literary type of academic education um, because they're interested throughout their adult life. P 
people with serious inheritable disabilities should not be allowed to reproduce. Eugenics. The most important thing for children to learn is to accept discipline. Not even close to the most important thing. There are no savage and civilized peoples. There are only different cultures. Strongly agree. Those who are... I mean, there's individuals you could call savage, but peoples, plural, no. Those who are able to work and refuse the opportunity should not expect society's support. See, you know what? They shouldn't expect it, right? But they should get it. They should get society's support. They should not expect it, but they should get it. And it acts about it. Okay, so I'll agree. But they, I, they should get it. When you're troubled, it's better not to think about think about it, but to keep busy with more cheerful things. Well, I disagree. Sometimes that's better, but not always. First-generation immigrants can never be fully integrated within their new country. Strongly disagree. Uh, fully integrated. They're fully integrated once they become a citizen. What's good for the most, and, and, and America changes, and that's good. What's good for the most successful corporations is always ultimately good for all of us. You'd have to be a fucking moron to believe that. No broadcasting institution, however independent in its content, should receive public funding. Fuck you. Um, our civil liberties are being excessively curbed in the name of count yes, counterterrorism. Strongly agree. That's empirical. A significant advantage of a one-party state is that it avoids all the arguments that delay progress in a democratic political system. Oh, sure, yeah, except for progress. Strongly disagree. Although the electronic age makes official surveillance easier, only, wrongdo only wrongdoers need to be worried. The death penalty should be an option for the most serious crimes. I disagree. It, it. I would like, actually, it to be able to, but I don't trust the state to make that determination. In a civilized society, one must always have people above to be obeyed by people below that are commanded. And fuck you. Abstract art that doesn't represent anything shouldn't be considered art at all. In criminal justice, punishment should be more important than rehabilitation. What, what is punishment except for a hope to rehabilitate? It's a waste of time to try to re rehabilitate some criminals. Yeah, some. The business person and the manufacturer... Well, no, you know what? It's not a waste of time because you're trying to re rehabilitate the ones that will never rehabilitate because they're in a batch of people, some of whom will be rehabilitated. The business person and the manufacturer are more important than the writer and the artist. Mothers may, I'm not going to strongly disagree, because though I side with, I believe the writer and artist is important, um, business people and manufacturers are also important. Mothers may have careers, but their first duty is to be homemakers, you can't say what someone else's first duty is. Multinational companies are on... F I mean, some mothers give up their babies for adoption. Multinational companies are unethically exploiting the plant genetic resources of developing countries. Again, that's empirically true. Making peace with the establishment is an important aspect of maturity. Well, that's true. That's just accepting it apparent. Five of six. Astrology accurate, accurately explains things. You cannot be moral without being religious. Strongly disagree. Charity is better than social security as a means of helping the genuinely disadvantaged. That's moronic. Some people are naturally unlucky. Not really, but if you have a life where you end up with a bunch of unluck, and it's not really because of you, it's just you, you know, you roll the dice and it's just chance, that's still natural. Okay, it's important that my child's school instills religious values. Strongly disagree. 
guess this is it. We're getting to the end, you guys. Sex outside of marriage is usually immoral. Same-sex couples... A same-sex couple in a stable, loving relationship should not be excluded from the possibility of child adoption. No oh, shit. Pornography depicting consenting adults should be legal for the adult population. Yeah, but it's unhealthy, usually. I mean, it's, it's always unhealthy, except for if you count all... You know, if you think that all erotica is pornography, then it's not always unhealthy. There's some good erotica, right? It could be positive. Pornography, as we know it in reality, um, usually not healthy. Sorry to tell you guys. Um, but it absolutely should be legal. It would be even more unhealthy for it to be illegal. What goes on in a private bedroom between consenting adults is no business of the state. Well, what if one of them kills the other person or so? What do you mean? Because, because it's in a bedroom? Yeah, fuck off. I'm going to take a literal interpretation of that. Except for they're just talking about sex. Of course, it's okay. No one can feel naturally homosexual. <laughs> no one can say that. Okay, these days, openness about sex has gone too far. Well, it's gone too far for me, but socially, who gives a damn? It's up to society, so no. Let's see where I stand, everybody. So, there's an economic scale... Left means you think the government can do good things and there should be government programs for those things. And a right means you think the government should fuck off and shouldn't be involved. Authoritarian means authoritarian. Libertarian means anti-authoritarian. So authoritarian, obviously, the state and society can decide for you what's right and wrong. And libertarian is like, well, society just has to uh, shut its mouth and bite its tongue and you get to do what you want um, okay so let's see so here's Hitler in the center on whether the government should be involved or not but way in the authoritarian Stalin left authoritarian Thatcher right authoritarian Friedman a right libertarian I guess a little bit Gandhi left libertarian um, just slightly libertarian Where's mine? Oh, here's me. Economic left, right, negative 6.63, social libertarian, and a social authoritarian, meaning anti authoritarian. That's a stupid way to put it. But you can see I'm over here in the libertarian, left libertarian quadrant. And that's usually always where I am. Sometimes I'm more to the center. So this should be my my uh, icon. No, because then that would give it all away. Um, just other stuff. All right, well, there you go. I am a left libertarian, and uh, you should take this test and put your score in the comments.